Welcome back to Battletech with the mod Extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining today. All right. Um, one of the things to do is to mention that uh, I did check the hiring hall here, and Kodiak is someone that we might be interested in picking up here. Now, Kodiak's a little bit more on the expensive side, but already has some decent gunnery skill, and also uh, has the gladiator ability here, which is less resolved loss when fatigued and does not gain low spirits from fatigue. So we can keep sending in Kodiak every single time, even when she's uh, fatigued. So that's not a, uh, gonna give her the low spirits. So she's gonna lose some resolve, but not as much. So she can just be always available for whenever we need somebody that's decent to throw in there. And she should gain some levels pretty quick. Go ahead and hire her. New mech warriors available. The other thing to mention about our mech warriors is one of our leaders here, Obsidian, has gained his uh, coolant vent, which allows him to vent 50 extra heat. But for the next three rounds, he's going to gain extra eight extra heat. There's a four round cooldown, so he's going to gain 24 back after venting the 50. But that's good for when he needs to open fire. His recoil penalty's down. He's got good health and. Uh, his uh, overheat threshold is pretty good too, so that's good. He's going to be one of the tanks that goes in there and fires all the time to mess with the enemy. All right, and he is fatigued right now, and if you see what fatigue does, just in case you're wondering, it does. He will suffer from low spirits if he's used in combat, and the lance also will experience reduced resolve per turn during combat. So, because he's tired, he can't help with the resolve as much. Okay, um, as you may recall, we do have a couple mechs that are under some surface in the repair bays, but that's okay. We have some easy mission that we can run right here. Nah, not easy. Skull and a half is not always easy. We've seen that turn south on us pretty quick. This is a straight-up battle against the government forces, so I don't think they're going to field anything too strange at us. It says could be a wild goose, goose chase, chase if there's nothing to find. They haven't wasted their time uh, on of their own mechs, so they're sending us on a battle. The Badlands, of course, is never good for heat. And I, I just don't think we're going to run up against anything. And we're in the black market zone, so we're going to go ahead with half a million credits. And uh, the salvage there is going to be one out of four, just in case we come up with something good. We'll pull out our buddies here and download loves being in the brawler. We're gonna keep him in there for now It's good to get somebody some levels here uh, Let's see Opesh probably gonna go in the Griffin again Fireball will take over for obsidian and we need another mech because our other ones are gone. So we'll probably put one of our fire starters in here. This one has uh, four medium lasers. The other has five. But uh, this one has a little bit better movement with the jump jets as well as uh, some buffed up medium lasers. So we're going to drop this fire starter in and see how it, it does. We'll go ahead and put steel jaw in that, I think. Oh, mopeds up, but uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think we can put moped in there. There's only four medium lasers. It's just open fire on one thing. There we go. Very mobile. Command interface initiated. Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can find the enemy here. Ready for action. Let's see. Probably come around, around on the side here. The road kind of winds up on top. Actually, this is kind of a good road. I think we're going to go ahead and stay on it. Just send everybody down the road. Moving to position. Copy that. I get you on the move. Roger that, Commander. Don't want to out distance my Thunderbolt too much here. Moving out. Yeah, 
they're just up over the hill here, so need to be a little careful. A javelin is no threat, and he's going to get lit up as he comes over the crest. Whoever crests the hill um, here, comes up over the hill, is going to get lit up by anything that we have that's on the hill. Yeah? The moped's going to have a pretty easy shot here. We're going to get off the side. Can we get up close? We can, actually. There we go. Let's do that. That'll let our MGs fire, because we did have some MGs on this thing. He's actually pretty armored overall. Uh, makeshift only carries 75% of the armor. So, yeah, all right. He did brace. This thing looks a little bigger, actually. What's this? Shadowhawk, okay. Receiving you. Um, let's let download sprint. Yeah, let's just get right up in this. Got it. Got a couple options to punch if it comes down to it. Oh, he actually hit. Light damage. Holding firm. Skipper. All right, what have we got here? Kopesh is our long range guy. We'll stay at long range. You got it. 68 or 78. Well, let's fire on the javelin. Accuracy through volume of fire. Inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. I don't think the javelin's that big of a threat, but it's the easy hit. And the, oh, they have a griffin. And he went down. Oh. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ready for orders. Fireball can actually close in on that. It's kind of a long range shot, but we'll let him go Roger ahead and that. start fighting with that griffin at long range. Rather than sprinting. Because he does have an AC5. Affirmative. to the griffin. Orders? Download can punch in the rear, I think. Maybe. No, side is okay too. Come on! Download. Boom! Torso's gone. Opened him up. Dead hit. Pretty good damage to a medium mech. A little stinger, no threat. Yep. If we can get right in this guy's rear arc and just unload on, on him it. again. So we're pretty good with the heat management with this mech. Those medium lasers are not very accurate. Target moved, that's why. Okay. Confirmed. Whoa, there goes all his ammo. Look at that. Ugh, both his arms. Oh, they don't like my griffin, do they? Try Amy next time. See what you get. The griffin could probably step back here. Trying to get a better shot off. Or we could just come down the hill. See if we can get a better shot on a jump. I'm trying to get a clear line of sight to that shadow hawk. I'm just not seeing it. Okay, we're gonna walk. A little bit too close here. That one's probably okay. Affirmative, Commander. If we're turning our back on this armless mech behind us. It's probably gonna be fine. Here we go. I think we hit everything except the torso. The center torso. That's good. Yes. Close with the thunderbolt. 
This guy's nothing. <laughs> yeah, he is nothing. Aye, aye. Yep, everything on the griffin. Locked on. Missed. Well, I can't say I'm very happy with that, but it did hit. The auto cannon missed, which is why I'm unhappy. <laughs> he just took off running. What's up, boss? Um, can't punch that thing. We could finish this one off, but then if yeah, that's okay. Let's go ahead and drive into his arm there. This whole side's exposed. Aye, aye. No armor left. He's gonna die here. Oh. Yep. Give him everything you've got. That's a kill. Yeah, it is. Those light mechs don't stand a chance against that brawler. Their only hope is to stay away. What do you need? I think we can go ahead and just move forward, maybe, and turn back on this mech. Or walk backward, that is. And just go for the kill here. Targeting for an alpha strike. There we go. Give us some resolve. That one's gone. Well, that's pretty close for a PPC. And he's still hit with it. What are your orders, Skipper? I'm rolling. Return the favor. Only we're at the ideal range. Good to go. Why can't we see this guy? Oh, the angle. Okay, well then we're going to walk back a little bit here. We get a movement pip out of this? Not really. All right, um, I want to make sure I can see both of them. Let's just... Can't quite see there, there. I could do it this way. Can I hit them both? Yes, okay. Confirmed. Yeah, okay, so the autocannon's going to go on the stinger and the rest on our friend here. The Griffin. Affirmative. I'm having a bad day with that auto cannon. There goes his right arm. Scored a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Did he just move into punch range? Yes, he did. We're going to hit him from the behind. Watch this. That little mech doesn't doesn't stand a chance. He destroyed three parts of him. Yep. Oh. Target's taken a critical hit. <laughs> and his left arm. Four of his pieces went. I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Messed him up real bad. Roger. We're overheating here. Okay, so here we've got some overheating. Shut down two of our weaker lasers and, and just activate everything else. We'll fire on this tender torso. We don't need anything off this guy. Confirmed. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. When I played the actual tabletop version of Battletech, I didn't like machine guns very much, but I do like them in this PC version. You need me to hold still for you? Confirmed. I'm there. Griffin's gonna keep his distance a little bit and just keep firing. Now let's see how you handle Oh, he missed. Ready to get it on. Can you get behind him? 
Um, not quite, but we can still get on his side. Yeah, we'll fire everything. Targeting for an alpha strike. Some big hits going in there. He survived it. I don't know if our brawler can hit him, but it's going to be close. Yep, looks like he can. He doesn't have any weapons left anyway. He's done for. Oh, we missed. <laughs> you don't see that too often. Yeah. Bang. Dead and dead. Mission successful. Nothing too much there that we're looking for as far as mechs go. Already got a griffin. Already got a shadow hawk. There are, they are candidates for selling, though, if we would like to sell them. So I think we'll take the Shadowhawk just to try to put together a mech to sell. Although, you know, it's nice to have a backup one just in case. Having medium mechs to replace the ones that we have. You never know. Our Shadowhawk could get blown apart, too. And just mean to need to be scrapped. <laughs> we've got a backup one ready to go, then we don't need to refit one that's just all blown apart. He wants to talk to me in the mech bay. He's telling us we have repairs to do. Not seeing anybody needing any repairs. I don't know what he's talking about. He said that once before. We've got a couple that are doing refits right now. Nothing special there. All right. Well, we do have to pass a little bit of time because I do need um, the Shadowhawk back before we can run anything. Check the Wolverine. Three days on the Wolverine, too. All right. We'll pass a couple days of time. The Wolverine's done in a day, so let's just tick the day and get Moped back as well. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay. Now we've got a pretty good team that we can send against something a little bit tougher. We do have a, a Skull and a Half contract, which is ambushing a convoy, but we know how that tends to turn out. We've got a capture base, which is probably something to be careful of, but it is acceptable, I guess. The training day pays pretty well, doesn't it? The Turians don't like that. Okay. So we've still got at least one or two missions we can still run. And again, we could play our Turian friends off each other. I'd rather not go after the pirates if possible. Um, looks like everything's going after the pirates except for the battle where we're turning against our Turian friends. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm reluctant to do anything else here. Let's take one last look at the store before I depart and see if there's anything that's left that I would like to pick up. Not telling me how many of these we have. Do I not have any of these? flip over to the selling and uh, mech parts, not letting me check my own mech parts. All right, let's go ahead and see. There are some decent mechs in here. The Hunchback, the Blackjack, there's a full Blackjack there, there's a Crab. There are weapons. Um, Flamer is pretty cheap. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy extra flamers. New weapon systems available. I'll buy them out. They have three of those. Those flamers do extra damage. That's always nice. Available. That AC-20 is tempting. 20, plus 20 damage. It already does 120, so that's 40 damage. If I ever get the Hunchback running, I'll want to pop that on there. Don't think I have an AC-20 that's any good. No, I don't. So... In the future, I'll have something with an AC-20 on it. Let's go ahead and buy that. 
New weapon systems available. The SRM4s and 6s aren't bad buys either. 100k for four, plus 4 damage and some stability damage. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. Available. I'll go ahead and pick up the SRM6. New weapon systems this PPC available. I'm reluctant to get. The LRM10 is not too expensive, but I, I need to be a little bit careful how much money I'm spending here. A uh, leg mod. I think I already picked one up. Let me check real quick if I remember right. I did pick up a leg mod. Only one. I do have a couple death from above. No, I only have one. Okay. The other stuff's a little bit pricey at this point. Okay. All right, let's let's head out. Now we're actually looking for a planet to go to. We do have a travel contact for right here, which is only half a star. It's not useful. Um, places we've already visited. No. No. Two is good, but it's kind of far away. We might want to just jump to something nearby. There's a skull and a half. That's not too bad. They have electronics. Oh, it doesn't give us much of anything. Poor zone. They have research. What does research do here? Developing new technologies, so maybe helps them a little bit. I'm not sure. We could try a little bit tougher area. And I would probably like to get off the border here and start heading back. That's kind of where I'm looking is to head back this way. Get over here to this other side where we can start mixing it up with the Capellan Confederation or something along those lines way over there. So we're kind of where I don't want to be. Um, I don't want to keep playing the Torians off of the Capellans, but I'd rather be over here somewhere doing work. All right. So we need to look for something a little closer, heading that direction. This is, it's got this battlefield, which probably has some wreckage here, technology, uh, some former Star League presence, large population, mega city. They might have some stuff. Pirate presence is, is probably good. Although maybe uh, could be a bad thing actually, <laughs> because they may jump us when we're coming into the system. One jump before that, nothing special, so we're going to go ahead and head for Enchi. Two and a half skulls, I'm not sure if it's any good. Hopefully we can get one or two contracts out of it. But we do have an extra medium mech now. Could have run a mission for the local government before we left. I don't know, I think we're good just to head out. But definitely want to think about saving up some of our money due to the financial report. All right. Major hostilities between the great houses are grinding to a halt, and only minor border skirmishes reported. Uh, how long before they start up the squabble again? There is a new Condor variant that concentrates on anti personnel and short range support. That sounds terrible, anti personnel. Or anti-mech, not just anti-personnel. Solaris 7. Uh, Hans Motor has fought his way to the top and pulled off his second consecutive championship in the Grand Tournament. Congratulations, whoever you are. Hans Motor. And the laggy jump. Oh, we actually saw it that time. I thought it was going to be a laggy jump. We haven't been able to see it very often. We get to Enchi right when our financial report pops. First harvest. Dr. Morad arrives at a briefing, arms full of succulent red orbs. 
Look, the first harvest of the Hydroparticks garden. Yay, are those tomatoes? Darius asks. She tosses him one and he bites into it and sighs with satisfaction as he wipes the juice off his chin. They are. Tomatoes, strawberries, watermelon, squash, basil. That actually sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And that's just the early harvest. Wow, sounds like a nice place to be. Love my strawberries. Let's see. With studied nonchalance, Sumir snatches her own tomato from Pharaoh's arms. The crew will be thrilled, Commander. How do you want to share the news? I'm going to have to throw a garden party for sure. Everybody's pretty happy about that, I think. And morale's increased by two. We get plus three medical points for 30 days, which might be good. But we did lose some money. That's all right. I think our financials could cut it. We're only at 632000 per month. We still have over 80, 880k. So we'll be broke coming into this system. Might be able to sell some stuff though. If we get to that situation. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. We've arrived at our destination. Commander. All right, let's take a look at the store. <clears throat> we don't have any money. So Nothing special there. There is a gyro. Plus two to melee hit, which would be kind of nice. Something to pick up. Some leg mods, death from above, bunch of death from above. Decent cockpit mod, plus two injury, injury resistance. Their mechs that they have available here, grasshopper. Oh, okay, I can see our parts right here then. I don't care about the javelin. We actually have three of four parts to put together for a dervish. 55 ton mech. That's uh, a missile platform with a couple medium lasers on it. Got jump jets too. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, L two LRM tens. That might be something to pick up too if we can't find one. So, got some good stuff there. Check the hiring hall just to see what's available. Ruthless. Stand and buy. Criminal. Ooh. Good Tesla. Go. Can't pick up Tesla because we don't have enough MRB rating. Yes, boss. Commander. Termite. Jinxed. Harder for this pilot to hit while also being easier. Ooh, no. We don't want to be hit by the enemy. Orders. Stinky. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I do like Commander? Ruthless a little bit just because of all the uh, experience, but that's all right. All right, um, we'll bounce through our mech warriors, see if anybody needs Maybe to gain die. anything. Uh, we can gain the second thing on Bonsai. Um, Bonsai probably is going to go for move and shoot, so mech warrior get grab check. tactics there. Receiving your orders. Yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. Standing by. Orders. Orders. Uh, what's up, boss? Okay, so here, Kodiak. Yeah, Kodiak is our new person. Kodiak is the gladiator, can keep going in. Um, and as a gladiator, I think I would like somebody who can maybe stand off and shoot, just like a gladiator you normally can. Let's go ahead and give her... Training complete. A tanky type of setup there. Yep. Waiting for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, so Sturm here. Sturm doesn't have much going for her. So... I'll be run up... Um, Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to run her up as well for the master tactician. Training confirmed, Commander. Storm. Receiving you. Tick. All right, Tick is now balanced out. Mech warrior training complete. works. All right, let's take a look at our missions before we end this episode here. Hopefully, they're not too bad. Yeah, we can run. Maybe two. If we're brave, we could maybe run three, four. Battle. Battle. Ambush convoy is kind of scary. Assassinate's good. I'll take that. 
And a defend a base. Sure, yeah, I like defending bases. Oh, we got a pirate mission here too. A recovery? Yeah, we'll be able to probably do that. Gotta be careful though. We don't really have the mechs for this kind of fight. So we're gonna have to be real cautious. The defend base is probably the next one I'd want to do because we can fall back on the turrets and then hopefully get some mech parts and things and so on. We'll see how it goes. I do have another medium mech. I've got the Wolverine and uh, the Wolverine has been refitted now. So we'll want to put him up top. I'm going to drop this fire starter down and put the Wolverine back up there. And the Wolverine is packing a small laser, an AC-5, and uh, 10 SRMs and jump jets. So he doesn't hit very hard, uh, but overall he is mobile. So that's kind of nice. And this single jump jet on the Shadowhawk is pretty useless actually. I think I might drop that off. Probably should have done that earlier. Dropped off a jump jet and uh, added something else in. That gives us 0.5. Not much else to do, but I mean, adding the armor in instead of a single jump jet is better. So anyway, we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now. I probably shouldn't have done that before. Whoops. Single jump jet is just not useful for that mech. Actually, it'll only take a day to do it. Let's go ahead and pull that jump jet out. And then we have 0.5. Our small laser is a 0.5. We could tr possibly drop that off. If we did drop it off, I could pop a SRM-2 into the head slot. An SRM-2 is uh, gonna be a little bit more attractive than anything else, I think. Yeah, let's pull the small laser and drop an SRM-2 on the head. Which is kind of weird to me, but I think I'll take the SRM-2 over the small laser. Even though the small laser, we got a good small laser here I could drop in, but I think this mech tends to be a little bit further back to try to use his AC-5. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. We're gonna go ahead and take a day. To get him up. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay. Alright, thanks for joining. In the next episode, we are going to be going after some more difficult missions. Hopefully they won't prove too hard, and maybe we'll get a good amount of salvage out of it. But mostly we're gonna need the money at this point. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.